<clears throat> G'day there mates, my name is Mr. McGillicuddy. Welcome back once again to my channel. Today, we are going to make a continuing story of the Callisto Protocol. So, last episode, Doctor... The, well, the Doctor managed to help slow down the progression of uh, Dana being uh, infected by those creatures. And it turns out we find out the reason why everything's happening. Because Warden Cole is conducting an experiment by releasing it out in the wild, trying to recreate the Subject Zero that happened back the old colony. Subject E, Subject Alpha. Did you see that? Uh, nothing. I think that was. Max. Elevators ahead. Should get something Yeah. <clears throat> I think we're pushing to the very end of the game here. Also, happy holidays to you guys. I forgot to mention that. <coughs> <sighs> I don't want to say Merry Christmas because I know there's some people out there who don't celebrate Christmas. Be it just by choice or their religion. Well, the religion they go with. So, happy holidays, all the same. Because I know with the Jewish, they celebrate Hanukkah. What happened back there? Last thing I remember is those robots jumping us. Mama's helping us get the cure. Can you trust her? Don't got a choice. Yeah. Wow. What is this? It's definitely not from UJC. Nope. Then who is it? It's a secret society. I swear, this looks more like a wall. Someone came crashing through here. And I don't think it was from the roof. This place looks a lot more clean and sterile than the other one, than the other, than back in the prison. Data transfer complete. What the hell? Whoa. Danny? Danny, where are you? Oh yeah. I forgot about the data transfer. And now you're inside Danny's memories, seeing the truth of Europa. A diluted test sample released from one of our labs. A tragedy that inspired everything Cole is doing here at Black Iron. Yeah. Because didn't he, he say that evolution doesn't happen in the lab, but out in the wild? A sick and twisted ideal. And we just ignored it. This was our fault. Lily. No, 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 no. Sure, 
here to protect you. You didn't deserve it. Your uncle wasn't a terrorist attack. They doctored the footage to cover up what they were planning to test in Black Iron. And the cargo that we transported played a part in both. I could have stopped this. Jesus. Jacob, what's wrong with you? Hey, come on. Come on. I can't. Come on. Yes, you can. We're almost there. No. I can feel it. Uh, hear it. Uh, in my head. Uh. Okay. You stay here. I'm gonna come back when I get the cure. Will day. He just decided to ignore it. But now that this is happening, that he saw her memories. It wasn't really the... I don't think it was really the core mission of his head. But Raddy just cho kept choosing to ignore it. Kept denying that he had any part in it. And I think Max was just trying to make him realize that this was his fault. I don't think I would be able to get all the um, upgrades for the um, white mitts in this left playthrough. No, that's fine. That's fine. so-called friend. You're not the innocent you claim to be. You've proven that you'll do just about anything to ensure your own survival. And what about you, huh? Watching people die for fun, is that your protocol? No. You are mistaken, Mr. B. Protocol isn't about death. It's about life. Our future lies out there. Our destiny. But we were not built for life in space. This fragile shell holds us back. We have to evolve. We are to survive. And now, you'll all see why. Proof that my methods are worth the risk. Final contest to determine the true survivor. Humanity! Well, 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 five, two, one. You're really a thank you. At first I thought this was a curse, but then I realized it is a gift. This warden has opened my eyes. I did this. I'm gonna 
Come on, then. Ah. Okay, he's doing five hits now. On the line up there. Shut up. I control it, can you? Not a boomer. Hoi! Where was that canister? There's one. Alley up. Right, I've got to pick these guys up. Ooh, got him! Let's hope this works. Beaten us. 
Ferris was weak, an imperfect vessel. But in that sample is the key to unlocking a centuries-old dream. Let's not fail you, Mr. Lee. It's progress, and it belongs to me. No, 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 I don't think so. Oh, please. This is no time for false heroics. Leave the sample and walk away. There's an escape pod up there. To take you back to the life you once had. We can both have everything we want. So tell me, Mr. Lee, what do you want? I'll tell you what I want. I want my sister back, fucker! Hologram. A valiant effort. But surely you know by now. I never lose. No. This time you do. Come on. Such a waste. All this to save one life. Don't think you've stopped us. The data gathered here will carry the protocol to the next phase. As for you, self destruct sequence initiated. Goodbye, Miss Nakamura. And Mr. Lee. I do hope you've enjoyed your stay at Black Iron. Reactor core approaching critical this way. Run! Move! Oh dear. She died at the house twice, Jacob. Almost there. I see the parts. Only one. There's just one. was a jump scare <laughs> okay then ladies and gentlemen that is it for the Kilisto protocol oh my god I will admit the game did not live up to quite the expect expectations that it was giving out for being a trip by horror but I think they did make some improvements in the end and that ending there, 
there's definitely going to be some more content, especially since there's a season pass in which, which shows there will be some more stuff. And I don't think it's just going to be um, just additional items. I mean, more story content. And hopefully, it'll show that, I don't know, maybe it will show us what Danny was doing most of the time. Or maybe it'll show us Jacob escaping the prison. I don't know. But for this sh but um, my question is, is this the end of the, the series itself? Or was that ending a cliffhanger for a second game? Or maybe it was the cliffhanger for some DLC content. Who can say? I will admit, the horror aspect of it was pretty good. Decent. And what, I even though I'm not a fan of horror games, this was quite quite nicely done. And as a spiritual successor to Dead Space, mm, I don't know, because with Dead Space, you pretty much didn't rely too much on melee, melee attacks like you did with here. I just felt that I was kept going falling back to using melee attacks instead of using the guns. Because in Dead Space, at least you had some more, um, had to use some more tactical planning. Because in, with the enemies in Dead Space, you would have to cut off the limbs, but in here, you just pretty much have to keep whacking them. Just whack, whack, whack. We'll start with the back. But it did get some to some of the point where, um, where the creatures would actually start to mutate, you have to shoot the tentacle in the center. Yeah, that was a good uh, idea to, um, uh, to show you have to act faster to get rid of them, or you have to face tougher enemies. And as for the music and ambiance in the background, that was... Whew, definitely gave, gave me calls to tense up and be on guard. Especially around where you think is there something coming wise or just here to scare me. Because there was definitely a lot of that going around. <laughs> oh yeah. But yeah. I know there was a lot of mixed reviews about this, but I did enjoy it in the end. And I hope to actually see a bit more where they actually do fix some of their mistakes. But no game is perfect, I can say that much. But it does have some charm about it, I will admit. Okay, I think I'm rambling on long enough here. I'm just going to leave you guys to enjoy the credits. And all there. So, thank you all so much for watching. If you guys did enjoy this video, please remember to hit that like button. Also, if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button to show support for the channel. I'd very much appreciate that. And I hope... And I hope to see some old, uh, content with this. We'll see what happens. Thank you all again. And I hope you all have a wonderful day. Take care, yourselves. Drive safely. And have a happy holiday. Take care. Have a good one. Bye-bye.